Today I'd like to show you how to use TXLine, a free download package available from the awrcorp.com website uh, that can be used for transmission line design. Uh, TXLine is also accessible through the uh, AWR design environment under the tool, Tools pull-down menu. Um, to start TXLine, you can go to the Tools pull-down menu, or you can start it as a freestanding application. And as you can see here, there are several different options that are available for the different types of waveguide or conducting structures that you may want to model. Uh, today we'll just quickly look at MicroStrip as an example. Um, to get it going, uh, you just select the type of material that you'd like. If the preset isn't here, um, you can type in whatever values you want for a dielectric constant and loss tangent. Uh, you can also type in or select from some presets different types of metal. Um, we're going to put in um, just some standard FR4 here with a dielectric constant of 4 and we'll put in a loss tangent of 0 0.012 um, and then we'll go over here to the physical dimensions and we will select uh, well we'll have it calculate the width for us but we'll select a 10 mil uh, substrate uh, thickness we'll use a 1.4 mils of uh, copper that'll correspond roughly to um, one ounce of copper and we'll set this length here to mils so we'll see what the physical length is and we'd like it for us to synthesize a 50 ohm line and let's say we want this to operate at uh, at 4 gigahertz and we want to know what 90 degrees of line length would be we could change this to anything we want as well um, and then to synthesize this we just hit the arrow pointing to the physical dimensions and it'll tell us what the line width is and it's approximately 19 uh, 19.3 mils and now what we can do is we can go and plug that in to microwave office and see how good of a 50 ohm match that would be uh, because that's what we're looking for so let me minimize TX line and we'll go over here to our line and instead of the uh, 50 mils that we had we'll put in 19 and uh, let's just make sure that our substrate definition is in line with what we had over in TX line, we have 10 mils of a dielectric constant of 4 with a thickness of 1.4. We've set the loss to 0 0.7, which is approximately that of the conductivity of copper. And now if we simulate, we should get a very good match. And in fact, we do. You can see in the Smith chart here that the match is almost exactly in the center of the Smith chart, uh, sweeping from 1 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz. So that's TX line. You can use it for microstrip. You can use it for strip line, coplanar waveguide. You can also use it for differential um, microstrip or strip line if you're doing um, any kind of uh, differential uh, LVDS signaling. It's a great application. It's free from the AWR website. Just go to awrcorp.com slash downloads, register, and you'll be able to download a copy of TX line for free. If you have any other questions, there's plenty of other videos on the awrtv.website. There's white papers on awrcorp.com. Or if you have other questions, contact your AWR sales professional.